Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. In today's tutorial, we're diving into face swap consistent character using the new Flux Redux plus Pull ID workflow, which allows you to face swap a reference image after an image variation generation. Flux Redux is an adapter for all Flux.1 base models for image variation generation. Given an input image, Flux.1 Redux can reproduce the image with slight variation, allowing refinement of a given image. This method is also known as image-to-image -image generation or image restyling. Flux Pull ID is a method that lets us generate images based on a single input image, preserving key facial features while allowing changes in other aspects like clothing, background, or style. This approach is especially useful if you're looking to create a series of images where the character's face stays recognizable, no matter the environment or artistic variations. By combining Flux Redux and Flux Pull ID, this workflow allows you to generate a series of images that are both identity consistent and visually diverse. You preserve the key facial features of the subject using Flux Pull ID while introducing controlled variations in other aspects of the image using Flux Redux. This synergy offers a robust tool for creating refined, personalized, and varied visual content. Before we begin, it's essential to mention one crucial step. You must install Flux Pull ID nodes properly. If you haven't done this yet, don't worry. We've created a tutorial on installing Flux Pull ID locally, which is linked in the description below. If you've successfully installed the Flux Pull ID nodes, you're ready to open our workflow and start using Flux Redux plus Flux Pull ID for image to image face swaps. This workflow is available for download on Civit AI. To get it, visit civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio, where you'll find the newly released Flux Redux plus Pull ID image to image face swap consistent character workflow. Download it to use on Comfy UI. Before starting with image generation, ensure you've downloaded and placed the following models in their correct folders. One, Flux One Redux Dev Model. Download it from the provided link on Civit AI. Save this model in the models slash style models subfolder. Two, Sig Clip Vision Model. Check the Hugging Face link, download it, and place the files into the model's Clip Vision subfolder. Three, Pull ID Flux Model, new version. Download it and place it in the model slash Pull ID subfolder. The download links are provided in the description below. We're using the GGOF Quantized Flux Model as our checkpoint, but you can use any Flux model you've already downloaded. Now let's explore image generation using Flux Redux combined with Flux Pull ID. In this workflow, we begin by uploading the image we want to restyle and apply a face swap to, followed by uploading the reference image for the face swap. For example, we used a previously generated random image and a photo of Taylor Swift as the reference. The result retains all the attributes of the original image prompt, clothing, background lighting, while introducing a remarkable resemblance to Taylor Swift. Let's try another example using Elon Musk as the reference. We'll upload his image, add an image prompt, and click Q prompt. The result is a strong resemblance to Elon Musk with good image variation. Next, let's experiment with Ana de Armas. Upload her image, add a prompt, and click Q prompt. The result maintains the attributes of the image prompt combined with her likeness. Finally, let's try Gal Gadot. Upload her image, add a prompt, and click Q prompt.
Again, the results are excellent, working well with all types of images. If you encounter the error, Sampler Custom Advanced, Forward Origin takes from seven to nine positional arguments, but 10 were given. Follow these steps to fix it. One, navigate to your Comfy UI folder. Go to the main directory where Comfy UI is installed. Two, locate the folders. Follow this path within the Comfy UI folder, App Comfy LDM Flux. Inside the Flux folder, find the problematic model file. Three, edit the model file. Open it with a text editor like Notepad++. Four, search for transformer options. It's usually on the second to last line. Five, remove transformer options. Delete this term, ensuring no other code is altered. Six, save changes and restart Comfy UI. This resolves the error, allowing you to continue using the workflow. If any nodes are not working, go to the Comfy UI manager, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and then update all before restarting Comfy UI. And that's it for our tutorial on the Flux Pull ID Face Swap in Painting workflow. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.